Or in Mr. Hilliard's case... Sexual arousal? I'm going in. Is falling asleep after sex considered narcolepsy? Because if it is, Mr. Roberts got it. Okay, so first she's gonna stick her chest out, and then she'll toss her hair. That's sexy. Pin drop. Oh. Oh, that's it. Hell yeah! Oh. Hello, Mr. Hilliard. Hey. Just want to make sure you're comfortable. Who are you? They call me Carla. Okay, Carla, it is. Mr. Hilliard, mm -hmm. do I have something on my lips? Nope, totally clean. Hi, Happy. I'm hideous. I can't even get Todd to make a sex joke. Watch this. Hey, Todd, I'm all out of the extra long tongue depressors. Do you happen to have one for me? Sorry, Carl. I'm all out. How did he not say yeah in my pants? God, I don't know what is so different about me since I got engaged. Wait, I found one. It's not made of wood, but give me a minute. Hey, have you checked Mr. Oberman for hypertension? Because I've got hypertension right here. No way. <laughs> Boobies. Charts. Mr. Hilliard, I like my body. OK. I didn't always. I remember when I was 10 years old, my swim coach telling me that my butt stuck out of the water too much. But now, I like it when my boyfriend looks at my wagon and goes, bam, you know? I'm okay with my curves. I realize women inject God knows what into their face to have lips like mine. Mr. Hilliard, I can hop out of the shower and look at my naked body for a whole 10 seconds without totally losing it. That's more than most women. But still, when I can't make you fall asleep, it's like hearing my swim coach's voice all over again, and my body doesn't deserve that. So what do you want me to do? Fall asleep. I'm not attracted to you. Why? Because you remind me of my sister. But I'm not your sister. That's what I'm talking about.